Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Cole's Christmas Countdown Day 3. If you're new here, hi my name is Cole. I love colour and makeup and also glitter. Um, uh, this look is going to be up tomorrow. I used the new Beauty Moon Cosmetics Ice Maiden collection. So if you do want to see this, I feel like it's very festive and very like party season. Um, then make sure you click that subscribe button. Today we're going to be talking about brands I want to try in 2025. There's not quite 25, but I think we're almost there. Um, so today I thought we'd talk about it. To be honest, most of these are indie brands. Most of them are in regards to their eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to go through it, I'm going to talk about them, um, and I'm going to let you know what I want to try. Okay, first off is a fairly new indie brand, it's Titanium Foxes. Their eyeshadow palettes look beautiful. They've got a couple out currently. Just everything I've seen about them, everybody absolutely raves about them. There's not a colour story that's really caught my eye enough to pay the shipping, because unfortunately it is quite expensive being in the UK. Um, but when they do release a colour story that really catches my eye um, and I think it, I'll use it enough to warrant the shipping, then I'm definitely going to be trying something from them. We've also got NC Brain. I know they're a little bit controversial right now. Excuse me. Um, I know Ensley Rain are a little bit controversial now and their use of AI on their palettes and all this kind of stuff. But I've never, ever seen a bad word said about their formula. Their colour stories are so beautiful and so curated. I think for me it'd have to be something kind of pastel because they have quite a few palettes that kind of fit into that like vibe. Speaking of pastel palettes, Bella Beauty Bar. That pastel garden palette will be mine one day. I just haven't got around to picking it up yet. But it's absolutely gorgeous. If you are a regular over here, you'll know I love a pastel eyeshadow. Um, and that palette is just absolutely incredible. Um, definitely, definitely want to try Bella Beauty Bar in 25. Um, a single shadow brand I see a lot about but I've never tried myself, a Davina. Um, they've got some really beautiful, especially like jewel toned shimmers. They look gorgeous. I feel like I haven't bought any single shadows for quite a while. I went a bit crazy like three or four years ago and haven't really bought many since. Um, but I definitely think Davina could be a go to try this one um, in 2025. Uh, more eyeshadow palettes, Dive Rune, um, I really love the look of their Moth in the Moon palette, it looks absolutely gorgeous, again, just one that I've not got around to trying, um, What's Up Beauty, I've seen a lot about them, um, I think their first palette was a little too neutral for me, but I think the last palette they released was slightly less neutral, so I'm hoping in 2025 we get a release that's far more not neutral and I think I will give it a go because I've heard some great things about them as well. Okay, um, Moira Cosmetics are kind of like the new Colourpop. I've seen a lot of people talk about their products. I've seen a lot of like dupes being released from them and a lot of people saying how good their dupes are. So I definitely think it's a brand I want to try. Again, it's just UK shipping is so expensive. Um, Beauty Box by Tammy do like tend to have a couple of their things um so i'm gonna keep my eye on that and once the ones that i do want to try pop up on there i'm gonna pick them up and give them a go i also wanted to mention um again shadow palette shall we make up fantasy cosmetica both look like they've got incredible shadow palettes both have had rave rave reviews definitely want to try those and then i have also got some kind of more conventional brands um and also some kind of hair care skincare brands i want to try amica i've heard great things about their hair care um now we've got sephora in the uk they're a lot easier to get over here and i've seen they're doing a lot of kind of packs to try it i really want to try their dry shampoo it's meant to be absolutely amazing um a couple of very luxury brands that have launched 
this year, Prada and Rabanne. I want to try both of those. I've heard great things about various different things. A brand I can't believe I've never tried, Living Proof. Um, I've been wearing my hair curly a lot now. I'm kind of growing it out of the pixie cut. It's kind of unmanageable and I really want to try the spray that everybody is obsessed about from Living Proof. Is it like perfect hair day? Anyway, I've heard of some great things about Living Proof, so I do want to give those a go. And then a couple of fragrance brands. I really want to try Kaali this year. Now, again, we've got Sephora. I can go in. I can smell everything. And I really want to try Seven Virtues. They've just released a perfume that's called Candied Lychee, I think. It sounds incredible. I love a sweet perfume. And on that line as well, Fleur, my friend Grace from Gel Beauty always talks about like gourmand um fragrances fleur sounds absolutely amazing i really really want to try those this year and then a couple of like uh more kind of mainstream brands victoria beckham beauty i can't believe i've never tried anything from her i've heard some amazing amazing things but to be fair i didn't even try lisa eldridge till this year so um i do want to try those and i really want to try lawless as well again now we've got Sephora, it's one of the few brands that I wanted to try when Sephora launched that I haven't tried yet. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited about that one as well. So that is it, that's my list of brands I want to try in 2025. Let me know in the comments what brands have you got your eyes on, what do you really want to try this year? No, next year. Um, I'd love to know in the comments. If you are new here, I'd love it if you stuck around. We are going to be posting every day up until Christmas, so you're getting lots of new content from me. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a like. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. And if you want to make sure you never miss another video, hit the bell icon and YouTube will notify you next time I post. You've been fabulous. I've been Cola the Ball, and I'll see you next time. Bye.